What's good, Cam fam? It's your girl, Killer Cam, back with another video. You feel me? Today, <clears throat> we're going to be cooking. Yeah, you heard me. We're going to be cooking chicken and shrimp fried rice with salad. You feel me? And I'm excited because I love to cook. I've already been cooking since I moved into my beautiful apartment. You feel me? It's so... Uh, let me not even go there. Anyways, a nigga's happy. I'm feeling good. And uh, we're going to get it going. First thing we're going to do is we're going to prep the onions and bell pepper. Because I love to have onions and bell pepper in, in pretty much every dish I make. If it's from rice, tacos, it don't even matter. I want it in it. You feel me? Burritos, enchiladas, hey, steak. What? Those two vegetables together with anything is fight. <laughs> Already got my chicken and shrimp back there seasoned and ready to go. Rice is cooling off, you know. Anytime you make fried rice, you got to make sure you cool your rice down and get it nice and chill before you fry it. So, yeah. Today's been a chill day. I've been off, you know what I'm saying. It's one of my off days. It is Friday. I'm just happy and blessed. <laughs> you feel me? Can I get an amen? <laughs> nah, man. Hey, let me get a knife, though. I've been using all my knives already. Because I love to cook. Let's use this one instead. It's a little better. I think I will go ahead and get this burner on. So that I can get these vegetables and everything in there. Put it in this oven. Then I'm going to wash it off. Real quick. What everybody got going on this Friday, man? Let me get some comments. Some comments on uh, your favorite fried rice. You feel me? What's y'all's favorite type of fried rice? What y'all like to eat? I do like beef. I do like beef fried rice too. You feel me? But today I'm gonna do chicken and shrimp. You feel me? Lots of different variations. I'm a rice eater. I love rice. I can eat it every day. Even though I know that's not good for you. I'll be doing it. <laughs> I definitely do. I mean, you can eat it with anything. I'm trying to be more healthy, though. I have been eating. Previously, I was eating out a lot and be stopping that. Straight cooking. Good meals. It yeah, did. So, cut some of this bell pepper up. I got some green bell pepper yellow onion you can do any kind of bell pepper or onion you want these are my favorite yeah. that looks like good enough good enough so go ahead and bag these back up and put them back up get them out of my way i don't like a messy area you feel me that lip gloss and all in the crust of my mouth, but it's all good. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yes, sir. If you hear me sniffling, I got allergies, and it is kind of, it's not too chilly today. I don't think, I ain't really been outside or nothing, though. Keep my butt. But it ain't been too cold. It's, it's cool. It's cooled down in my house since my heat been on. I mean, it's warmed up. What was I saying? <laughs> it's chilled out. I'm warm. I go like that. You feel me? Nice, good, non stick. Non sticker. <laughs> good, non sticker. Yeah. Everything brand new in the crib. I must say, I'm so blessed. If I haven't already said it, I'm saying it again. So blessed. I worked so hard the last few months. I was doing my thing on my grind. I'm continuing it, of course. But 
to get in the position I'm in, I was working my butt off. I was doing the work not only outside of me physically, but mentally and spiritually. You hear me? You gotta always take care of yourself, man, in all forms. Because it all matters. to do that but I'm kind of hungry and it's looking good <laughs> so got the bell peppers done the, the meat season it's time to get some oil in a pan we are going to be using sesame oil essential for fried rice you can also use vegetable oil I got that back there but uh I want to make it a little more authentic so I'm gonna use sesame oil That's what I be doing when I'm cooking. I just be, you know what I'm saying? B and B. Hey, that's what y'all gonna see. B and B. Hey, that's what y'all gonna see. That was a weak ass freestyle, but don't worry. I'm gonna be coming with more pressure. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry. <laughs>
Anyways. Hey. We're going to pause this. I'm going to be right back. What's good, Cam fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Killer Cam. And uh, today, we're cooking chicken and shrimp fried rice with Sally. All right? I already kind of made a video, and then I accidentally exited it out. So I had to restart it, but it ain't nothing. I already got the food prepped. Bell peppers and onion, chicken and shrimp all in the pan. We're going to get that cooked right, and we're going to add the rice here in a little bit. So, yeah. What I wanted to do is tell y'all, please like, please subscribe, and please comment. And welcome to the family, man. I'm just excited to be here and be doing me. And and just getting out here, man. And, and doing what everybody... You see so many people on YouTube living their life, living their dream. Just being happy, being them. And I just want to step, step on the scene and, and show my face and show how creative I can be. And how excited I am to be able to be living and being happy doing my thing. You feel me? Because I know I'm one of the many, you feel me? And I'm just grateful for all the YouTubers I've seen before me. I'm humbled. And I'm going to be reaching out. I'm going to be getting to know everybody. And I'm excited to be here. And if you've been a YouTuber and you come across this video, say what up, man. What up to the family? Cam fam, we in the building. Let's get to this food, though. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh yeah, I see this shrimp is looking ooh, looking good. We're gonna turn it over. It's got some nice color to it. You feel me? I got some extra large shrimp and just a regular old size chicken breast with this bell pepper onion in. And then we added a little bit of sesame oil before we added all of this meat and veggies in it. That's the oil we use for the fried rice, sesame oil. Ooh. Get ready to cut up this chicken. Once these cook a little longer. Residing in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Everybody coming. Where you from, man? Where you from? Where the people at? You feel me? What do y'all like to cook? What's y'all favorite type of fried rice? Do y'all even cook fried rice? If not, you here to learn. I'm telling you, it's easy. It's easy peasy. The first thing I already did was cook the rice, and it's chilling. You want to let it chill for at least 30 minutes before you get to cooking it. So that it gets nice and chill, because you don't want no hot fried rice, because that's what makes it stick to the pan. So whenever it's cool, it's going to cook evenly, and it's going to fry up. So yeah, that's the number one rule. Have rice on chill. You feel me? Then you just want to prep all the ingredients that you like in your fried rice. You can do like the carrots with the green onion. That's a normal, definitely normal thing. Green onion, regular onion. I don't have any green onion right now or carrots. Otherwise, I would definitely have that in there. I also like broccoli in there. So, you know, future future things that I will be doing though because I had made it like that before. It's just right now, these are the vegetables I, I have to add. Looking good, smelling good in the hood. Nah. <laughs> oh, yes. Get right. Get right. Oh, get right. Get right. Oh, ignore me. I'm just tripping right now. <laughs> nah, I'm just having a good time. I'm just feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I had a little bit of that pressure pack before I got on this. So you already know where I'm at. Yeah. So everybody got going this weekend, though. It's the weekend. It's Friday. You feel me? I know everybody's going to be doing their thing depending on where you at. You in the chiller regions, warmer regions. Ooh, my nose. The allergies right now is kicking my butt. 
Just mashing up all the rice right now so that it is um, not so stuck together because you know it's sticky rice before you fry it. So I'm loosening it up. Loosening it up. So excited to eat this, it's gonna smash. So now that everything 
with my fried rice is complete, I just need to mix it up, add in you know, the soy sauce, and then it'll be done. I'm going to make the salad. We got some good old greens. Good old bacon bits. Good old cheese. Good old ranch. Good old croutons. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I got a plate back here. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling my salad. First thing I'm going to do is pull the salad up out of here and wash it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wash your salad. You gotta wash your vegetables, period. Your meat as well. Wash all of it. And I dropped a little piece. It's gonna go in the trash. We're not dirty like that. on top of my greens. First thing is I add that. You feel me? Then we're going to go in with the cheese. Normally I would go ahead and cut up some onion as well, but since I got plenty of onion in my fried rice, I ain't really going to worry about putting the onions on the salad. Now we're going to go with the good old cheese called the Jack. It's a good sour cheese. Good any kind of cheese, really. You can use Kobe Jack. I use Kobe Jack for anything. Sandwiches, you can make a grilled cheese with Kobe Jack. You can make salads with it. You put on tacos. You know. Next, croutons. These are good by themselves. No cap. Cheese and garlic season. Mm. Salad's ready. Ready. You just need to dress them. Yeah. Time to stir it up. Let's fry it nice. Ready to plate. 
got my sweet chili sauce. Got my salad. Shaky shake. Pour it right over the hot fried rice. A little bit of that sweet chili sauce. I'm telling you, if you've never had sweet chili and you like sweet and savory, find me some sweet chili sauce at your grocery store. Oh yeah. Ranch for that salad. You already know. Mm. Pan fell. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful plate. Tell it off. It's been a pleasure. I appreciate y'all. It's all love, family. See y'all in the next one. 100.